Shalom, all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Racha Kordash. Double honors to my elders and apostles at Great Millstone. Peace, safety, much love, and blessing to the occupants across the four corners of the earth that are pushing out this truth and truth and sincerity and putting their lives on the line to do so. I want to say Shalom to you, brothers. I'm, br I'm the brother Arak Salaki <clears throat> from GMS Atlanta, back in the spirit with another lesson. And Lord willing, this lesson be edifying to an elect member too. I have an article here on screen from the Daily Mail, uh, DailyMail.com, and um, it's entitled "Death Row Records Co-Founder Michael Hario Harris Has Been Freed by President Trump and Will Walk Out of Prison Today After 32 Years Behind Bars for Kidnap." An attempted murder after intense lobbying by his friend Snoop Dogg. Now, this is just the latest in pardons of uh, Jake by Donald Trump. All right. Um, I've heard uh, Lil Wayne has been parted. Uh, Kodak Black has been parted. And now this guy. Okay. Just the latest out of the hip-hop or so-called black community these are just a few names that he's uh, pardoned from uh, their jail sentences now I'm bringing this out because here it is this guy Harry O's a big-time kingpin drug dealer allegedly well not allegedly he was convicted of kidnapping and attempted murder okay Kodak Black, he's in jail for weapons charges, and um, I believe that's that's it. Wayne was pardoned for his gun charges and you know possession of whatever he had on him at the time of his arrest. Now, these people are regarded as high value, if you will, in today's uh, Israelite community. Now, these people are getting pardons for being demons man you know breaking the laws of the land um kidnapping guns drugs murder you name it and they're still being backed by the community the so-called negroes which are the israelites as being good people and they want to see them free of uh of being behind bars now us being prophets of the Lord, we, we know that there's going to be a time where the prophets are persecuted and removed from the streets uh, if the Lord sees that necessary to be a lot. Now, there's going to be no one lobbying for us to be free, and we're fine with that. But the simple fact that these Negroes can be big boy niggas and big boy demons and still be, it says intense lobbying that they're intensely being lobbied for to be freed from prison by these uh celebrities after they've been convicted of big boy crimes all right and here it is, here it is we're fighting for the nation of the um of the israelites in righteousness and is going to be persecuted and and blamed um uh, falsely and there's not going to be anyone to back us or to lobby for us. But Yahweh Bashim, Yahweh Shai. All right. Not Snoop Dogg. Not Donald Trump. Not uh, who it is. Fucking um, Crump. Not uh, any of these activists. Jesse Jackson. Not going to lobby for us. Uh, Mayor Keisha Lance Bottoms. Uh, Kamala Harris. Nobody. Okay. And we're fine with that. That's cool. But the wickedness of our people is set on high and esteemed. And they have people lobbying for them to be free. Okay. And we know. Hey, they even did it to our Lord and Savior, man. You know, they said, let the blood be upon us and our children. All right. They wasn't lobbying for Yahweh Shah to be freed uh, because he had done no wrong. And we're fine with that. We're, we, we've come to grips with that. Um, but yeah, this is just um, 
The latest, man, a drug kingpin that funded death row has been pardoned after 32 years. Uh, it says Donald Trump has pardoned. Matter of fact, before I get into this article, let me grab a precept. Grab a pre quick precept. Um, this is John chapter 15. Um, and verse 19. I started verse 18. If the world hate you, ye know that it hated me before it hate you. If ye were of the world, the world would love his own. These guys are of the world. These guys that are being pardoned, Harry O, um, Lil Wayne, and Kodak Black. These people are of the world. So the world loves them because they're of the world. They're their own. Now us being separated from the world, being holy, and standing for righteousness and great boldness, we're not going to be loved, you know, by the masses of the people we're going to be hated because we're not a part of, of of the system so to speak okay so it says uh if ye were of the world the world would love his own but because ye are not of the world but i have chosen you out of the world therefore the world hateth you all right and we we're fine with that we're cool our lord and savior it happened to him we're not exempt all right uh, verse 20 it says remember the word that I say unto you the servant is not greater than than his Lord if they have persecuted me they will also persecute you if they have kept my sins they will keep yours also all right so we're not exempt our Lord and Savior was hated okay he was persecuted uh, unlawfully okay so we expect these type of things because we're not of the world like these guys that I just mentioned that are being pardoned by Donald Trump. It says Donald Trump has pardoned Death Row Records co-founder and former kingpin Michael Harry O. Harris after a secret campaign by rapper Snoop Dogg, DailyMail.com, can exclusively reveal. Harris, 59, is set to be released from California federal prison Tuesday after 32 years behind bars for attempted murder and cocaine trafficking. Sounds like a guy that should be locked up for the rest of his life to me. But hey, Snoop Dogg, who rapped under Harris' infamous record label in, 19, in the 1990s alongside Dr. Dre, Tupac Shakur, and listed Yvonne Trump, Jared Kushner and justice reform campaigners to convince Trump. Now, all of these guys that they just named on this record label has done nothing to further our nation. All right, they've only pushed out rap, lyric, rap lyrics of drug dealing, whoremongering, prostitution, uh, drug usage, and killing one another. But they get pardoned. You know, because they, they're of the world. I just read it in John, the world loves his own. Uh, it says the last ditch attempt succeeded on Monday when the outgoing president signed Harris' pardon. DailyMail.com understands White House Chief of Staff Mark Meadows advised Trump against signing the pardon, but the 45th president was swayed by his family. All right. And this is just another gift Trump giving the Negroes to uh, get them on their side and show that he's not a racist. That's all it is, man. Trump could give give a damn about a, a, a Negro that's been in jail for 32 years for the drugs that his people have put in the community for him to sell. Okay. Uh, this is First John chapter 3. Um... Uh, yeah, verse 1, it says, Behold, what manner of love the Father hath bestowed upon us, that we should be called the sons of God. Therefore, the world knoweth us not, because it knew him not. Yeah, we're, we're not going to be expecting any kind of pardons 
from or of any sort, man, for us being persecuted. Because it wasn't done to, for our Lord and Savior. So we're not expecting it. Okay? And like I said, man, we're, we're cool with that. You know? But we just... It's our duty to bring out the wickedness, man. And show you how ass backward this place is. And how ass backward our people are. The so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. That they'll back this guy. A drug kingpin. Attempted murderers. A kidnapper. So on and so forth that only promotes violence and death to our people, but he has a he has gotten a pardon, and people have been lobbying for him to get a pardon. Uh, Matthew five and ten, blessed are they which are persecuted for righteousness' sake, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. Blessed are ye when men shall revile you and persecute you and shall say all manner of evil against you, falsely for my sake. Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. And, hey, that's all we're concerned with. As long as the things that we go through here uh, on the earth by the hands of Esau is rewarded with the kingdom of heaven, we're cool with that. Okay? It says, Rejoice and be exceedingly glad, for great is your reward in heaven. For so persecuted they the prophets which were before you. And we're no better, man. You know? We're just looking... To, to make good with the Lord so he sees it necessary for our ass to be saved, man, at the end of the day. All right? So, Lord willing, you know, this lesson was edifying. I want to end it by giving all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai, Bahashem, Rachakodash, Shalom.